what's going on guys sneaker factor back here and today i have a review on a sneaker which just might be the basketball shoe of the year and it's a new balance alexa tell me about the new balance two-way v3 champsports.com inspired by the brain's firing synapses the new balance two-way keeps you sharp as you pivot on a dime and take the hardwood by storm <laughs> as well as looking really nice, feels really nice. It's just, this material right here feels just really breathable. Even when you're playing these, you can just really feel it cooling off when your feet get really hot. Some other basketball shoes I've played and aren't this good at breathability, which uh, you've got to give your props to New Balance with this one, even though I hate them. They, they know how to make a good basketball shoe. And then this N right here, you can see in the middle, probably the most eye-catching thing about the sneaker. When you look at it, you first notice this big N really does uh, just, hold your foot in place it's just acts as um sort of not i don't want to say a strap but something similar to that that just locks down your foot into the shoe you tie up the laces and then yeah it locks your foot down into the sneaker and you feel really snug the shoe does fit like a glove like fits perfectly i would say it's it's a wider shoe but that didn't really matter for me i don't have wide feet i, I reckon i probably have narrow feet but the way these things stuck to me they just felt really um just yeah like a glove they fit on my shoe molded to it perfectly but if you do like a little bit of space in the in the end of the shoe i recommend going a half size up but otherwise if you just want these to fit on your feet perfectly i would just stick true to size the back of the sneaker is not anything special it's just this little pull strap with the new balance logo on it and then on the midsole you can see a little fuel cell riding uh, of the fuel cell midsole it's like if I had to put it in Nike terms, I would say it's a bit like Kushlon. So yeah, the fuel cell midsole I do like. The midsole does provide support, but it's not the most squishiest foam I've ever seen. It's not dense, but it's just not squishy. Really low to the ground, which I do love. This this finds that sweet spot. It's just nice you feel really nice and supported and it's a good level to be at when you're playing you know you can get up get down i recommend this shoe for dunking i like this shoe to dunking you know you just get up and you feel it gives a good push off the ground you just feel like you're going up nice and smoothly you just glide up there and you put the ball in taking it to the outsole of the sneaker you can see it's not very traditional traction padding it never is these days with basketball shoes but in the forefoot you can see just three of these little circles and they have similar ones in the, uh, the back of the shoe which is just six of them there um just lined up and then right in the, the midfoot you can see the new balance logo now these little circles that are really predominant here act as like a little su suction cup I noticed when you just stick to the court it like uh, just grips to the court straight away just traps there I don't know even what how to explain it, it just feels suctiony when you just grip into the court really nicely the lines of the sneaker are really soft I noticed like you can push them turn them they're just really soft which is why They'll be great for an indoor court, but not so good for an outdoor court. Lucky that that doesn't matter because I'll never take indoor shoes outdoors. The lines on the shoe really do just revolve around the little circles as well as the New Balance logo. They sort of go in a circular motion around them all and then just sort of wave off and go into a really unconventional pattern which all the way goes up onto the midsole which then connects it to the uh, other part of the midsole which you can see here and now my favorite part let's check the traction Let me know what you thought of the video, uh, what you think of this shoes. Again, I think it's probably going to be the shoe of the year. 
I'm keen to get a few more basketball shoes this year, just grow that. I have plenty of Jordans, so now we're just growing the, the basketball region of the collection out before we get some more Jordans. We'll obviously get some more Jordans in the meantime because it's my pride and joy. But enough of that. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.